Jemmy, I'm so excited because today we're going to do answer A and M09. This means that we're going to get the big points. 30 points. This for this one? Yeah, and this one. Okay, so let's review M08 first, okay? Sure. So M08 and M09 is like almost the same thing, right? But M08, it uses the smaller bracket, the low bracket, like this. And then the M09, it uses the tall bracket, aka mm. the high bracket. Yeah. And it needs to be um, the beams, as you can see the slide beams right here. It needs to be, one of them needs to be facing the manual stage, the other one needs to be facing the addition side. Okay, yours can be an ordinary spider. Mine's just gonna be a huge daddy long leg. Okay. <laughs> and then, um, the target, mission target for this is that the big PU ball, or the yellow ball, needs to drop onto the arena floor. And then you'll earn 30 points. Right, and each yellow ball, this one or this one, is worth 30 points. I know, but there's only one in the whole competition. Yeah. But there's no princey, sorry. <laughs> and now the scoring judgment for M09 and M08 is that it needs to be completely inside the arena, or it's on top of the arena frame like that. Right, and the conditions that don't count is that the yellow ball is still in contact with the robot, like when the, the robot, robot stops, yeah, like, right? When yeah, when the robot's done with the mission, it's like that. That does not earn you 30 points, I'm well. so sad. <laughs> And another and thing is, when the yellow ball is like completely out of their competition frame, like that, this is their arena. Their, yeah. yeah, and that doesn't count either. Mm -hmm. So now that we reviewed it, do you get any ideas? I do. Really? Well, I do too. How about I would take M08 and I'll take M09. I'll take my daddy long legs. Okay, so now we're going to go design and program a robot. So I'll meet you at the arena. I'll meet you at the arena too. Bye! So Afi, are you ready for your M09? Yep, are you ready for your M08? Yes I am. So I'm gonna demonstrate my M08 for our friends to see it, okay? Sure, but today we have a little fun fact. Our cat is here! Yep. <laughs> so I'm gonna demonstrate with my hand right now. So here, I start from here, and then from the starting area, and then I run line all the way until it goes to this intersection right there. Right. And then I like move forward just a little bit to set up itself mm -hmm. for the turning. Then I turn like that, and I walk in front until zero, 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 zero. Okay. I walk a little bit more in front, and then I will swing it, and then oh. it falls into the main stage. Good plan. Thank you. So now I'm going to show you my robot. Okay. So now I'm gonna show you my robot structure. So as you can see, it's really simple. All I built is one pole over here to make this pole a little higher so it can hit the um, PU ball. So, oh. and I just attached um, a square beam right here. Yeah, it's pretty simple, okay? okay. And I also attached a little handle for the <laughs> Right, okay. so why don't you run your M-Bot? Okay, sure. So I hope it works, do you? Yep, I hope it works too, but I'm sure it'll be as stable as stable. <laughs> okay, so it runs past the back circle, and then will it scared. stop at any intersection? No, it stops at that one, good. Okay, great. I come here and I swim great it and job. It into the main. Stage. Okay. Good so, job, Jenny. Thank you. So that's M08, and now let's he let's see Afi's M09. <laughs> okay. So as you can notice, our cat friend left the server, Aww. so we don't have him anymore. So sad, he won't be here during my performance. Yep, he won't. But we have Princey. Yeah, <laughs> at least he's still here. Okay, so now you will demonstrate M09 with your hands, okay? Sure. That was just a meal. Okay, so. It goes up. And it's one line until one, one, one. Then it's gonna pass like that, as normal. Go over here, but right here, it's not gonna go like yours like that. It's gonna, it's gonna go straight move forward. forward. It's gonna go like this, it's gonna swat it. Like that, like oh, that. oh, okay. So Afi, now can you explain about your robot structure? Sure, so my robot structure is at this pole right here. It's gonna like go into M09, like, like right here. Mm -hmm. Then it's gonna like move. So turn, it's gonna turn this way, and then right, and it's gonna hit the ball into the yeah, So it's like gonna click with it, and then it's gonna just swing. Right. It, right. Okay. Okay. So can you demonstrate with the actual robot? Sure. Let's start. Lucky cat. 
So as you can see, it, it moves passed the black circle. The circle. And let's see if it actually moves forward after this. Okay, it does. It goes right through the and heart. You can do this. And brings Yay. it down. The KO. Okay. So now, Afi, you have accomplished M09, and that was a great job. I have to admit that. Thanks. Good job. So now that we're done with our um, robot, let's go over to the coding section and see how we both coded it. Sure. See you there, friends. Bye, friends. Okay, guys, now we're at the coding section for my M08. And first of all, we're going to have the mandatory block, which is run line. And we're going to define run line as left wheel turn at power plus motor differential speed and right wheel turn at power minus motor differential speed. So after we've done that, we're going to say, when mbot m4 starts up, we're going to initialize our RGB line follower at port 3, and we're going to say RGB line follower set target color and fill light to green. After we set it, we're going to have to like set the correct thing. You can choose what color you want. And we're also going to have to set the correct port. So you can choose port 1, port 2, port 3, or port 4 to match with your own port. Okay, after that we're going to say RGB line follower, uh, the default following, set turning sensitivity to 0 0.9. 0 0.9 we recommend for you because we have tested it out and this is the best sensitivity to use. Okay, after we're done with that we're going to say set power to 40 and we're going to go in for every loop. If you want to go faster then you need to set it as like 60 or like 70, but if you want to go like slow and steady, you should set it as 40. Okay, now we're going to go in for every loop. We say if onboard button press, then we're going to wait until onboard button is released. We're going to say repeat run line until RGB line follower it tends is 1111. We're going to stop moving and we're going to say move forward at power 40 for 0 0.8 seconds. So this is where like um, the black circle is and it's moving to avoid the black circle. Okay, so after that we're going to reset our timer and we're going to repeat run line until it tenses 0, 0, 0 and timer is greater than 3. It's going to stop moving and this is where the intersection for M08 and M09 is. Okay, after we're done with that we're going to say move forward at power 40 for 0 0.3 seconds to set your mbot for the turning and we're going to say reset timer repeat uh, repeat turning left until rgb line far the sense is 1001 and the timer is greater than 0 0.3 zero this is the reason why we want to set timer is greater than 0 0.3 because um the rgb line follower is already sensing 1001 so if you don't have the timer it's just going to go like bloop, and it will just stay there so it won't do anything Okay, after we're done with that, we're going to repeat run line until RGB line follower probe status um, senses 0, 0, 0, 0, which uh, is like that part where it's facing directly at M08. Okay, and now after that, we're going to stop moving. We're going to move forward at power 40 for 0 0.3 seconds to like get that perfect angle where to hit it. And we're going to turn left at power 100 for 0 0.4 seconds to wham it and we're gonna move backwards to show that we're done and we you have to connect it all at the end like this because if you do it part by part and you forget to connect it then it's not gonna work because um it's not connected with your code so you gotta do that and then just throw this in under way until okay after done with this we're all good to go and now let's go check out so hello this is my code for m09 and I'm going to explain each of the sections to you, except for these three front sections, because I know that you've got this, because if you've watched the video, video since M01, then you're going to know that I've did this same section over and over and over and over again. This is basically just defining my block, this is setting up my mbot, and this is like when my onboard button is pressed, and when it's released, I'm going to do the actual code. And I'm going to explain the actual code for you. So I'm going to run line until 1111, which is the black circle, which we always want to pass so that our mbot doesn't go crazy and run around in circles. So we want to move forward to pass over this circle. And then we're going to reset our timer and run line until our timer 
is more than 3 and our RGB line follower detects 0, 0, 0, 0. Why we set a timer is because there's a lot of pathways with 0, 0, 0, 0 on it. We want the one that's closest to M09 so we can hit it. So that's why we have a timer. And then we're going to reset our timer again to the edge closer. And then we're going to run line until timer is more than 1. We're going to stop moving for a bit. Then we're going to move forward so that our pole on our M block goes straight into the prop like this. And then it's going to turn left like this to swap the prop down and the ball rolls over to the manual stage. After that, we're going to turn left so, so that it like hits. Sorry. So we're going to turn left so that it hits like the prop down. This is We move forward, we turn left, the prop goes down. Then we're going to wait one more second and we're going to move backward so that our M-Bot doesn't stay touching with the prop at the end. So those are all my sections. It's pretty short, but it's nice. Connect everything together as we normally do. And one last six. Like that. So now we take our repeat until and we put it inside our wick, put our forever and oops, connect it and connect it to here. And then you've got the code for M09. So thank you for watching. I hope you find this useful. Now let's go meet Jamie at the review table. So Jamie, let's tell our friends some of our problems. Sure. So some of the problems I had for M08 is that like when I run up, right, mm -hmm. my pole is usually like down here. So like when you hit it down here, it won't move. It will move, but it won't fall over, right? Oh. So I wanted to fall over. That's why I had to move it to like so it can be on the top of it. Oh. So you can just knock it down like that. Oh yeah, good idea. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's my problem and I fixed it with making the pole higher by attaching it to another pole. Okay, thank you for so sharing. So do you have any problems? Yep, I have one too. What is it? So one of the problems that I had was that when I came here mm -hmm. and then I was going to hit the prop down, yeah. right? I went like this and it just like moved like oh, yours, it so, didn't fall down. So the point is that you didn't move like Yeah, I need to move in and then it's gonna fall down oh. and this ball is gonna fall oh, down okay. too. So you didn't move like you have to move like a lot. In. Right, I have to move I have to add a move forward block oh, to my okay, code. Okay, okay. Yeah. So that was a problem that we had and it is really difficult and frustrating if you don't make it. But as we said, we need trial and error. So like you need like like pretend like I had to um I act I actually thought this was like we'll make it, but the point was that it just like hit it like that and we didn't right. do anything And that it's much. like so frustrating, but you can do this. It's yeah, cause it's trial and error, yep. So where there's a will, there's a way. Mm -hmm. And now I'll see you in the next episode. Which is M010. M see ya. Bye. Stay tuned. So excited for it. I'm you.